Hey besties, happy Sunday, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do another wardrobe updates. For one, because I thought it was a really nice video to film and I really enjoyed the kind of conversation component of it all. And also because I have a lot to say about my wardrobe in general, which I guess is why we have this channel, you and I. So today we're gonna talk about what's new in my wardrobe, some current obsessions, a wish list item, and then a little wardrobe project. I feel like I have to preface this. I do have a new camera. I am not sure I like how it looks because in my old camera I looked like a smooth little, you know, angel. Like there was some sort of smoothing filter. Without it, I feel like it's it's a little bit more scary to be on camera because I'm like, my face looks a little bit too real. No, it doesn't. <laughs> but equally, I, I, I feel like, you know, it's just, it's better to look real on the internet versus looking like a smooth little angel, right? So... Cheers to realness, I guess. Let's start with my new in items in my wardrobe. First, we start with a little pile of cashmere because I went a little bit crazy on cashmere recently. I uh, have one thing that made it from my wish list to now a new in my wardrobe, which I am so excited to share with you because I found my perfect cashmere sweater in chocolate brown, obviously. This cashmere sweater, I looked through the entire internet basically to find. I looked new, I looked pre-loved on my favorite general sites. And then I was like, I have to look somewhere else. Like I can't find the perfect one. So then I downloaded Vinted and I found this. Can you imagine? Everyone has been raving about Vinted since like, it arrived to the internet, but I'm just now jumping on the bandwagon, but I'm not sure I like it as much as Selpy. I'm, I'm not sure. The jury's still out. It's very new to me. But basically, I found this cashmere sweater that literally someone will have to pay me to stop wearing because I'm obsessed with this cashmere sweater. First off, it's the perfect like espresso brown, like cool toned espresso brown color. It has this fabulous like, you know, smaller cable knit to it. And like that cable knit, it's not only on the front of the sweater, it's on the back too. And I do adore when well, like a sweater that has a pattern has the pattern throughout the entire sweater, right? I mean, including the sleeves and stuff like that. And oh, the best part, it's oversized and it's so comfortable and it's so soft. I've never bought anything from this brand before. I do think it's a little bit of like an old lady brand, which I mean, obviously I am an old lady, so that works out perfectly. It's from Talbots. Is that how you pronounce it? It's pure cashmere. It's in the size extra large because I wanted it oversized. So I bought it oversized and now I am completely obsessed. I have been wearing this like several times a week since I got it. And like, this is just my favorite thing. I was thinking of wearing it today <laughs> to film this video, but then I was like, I want to hold it up to you so that you see, like, do you see how big this is? So this is oversized. This is fabulous. This is everything I wanted. And the sleeves are long, right? So they cover your knuckles almost like, which I think is such a cozy look for an oversized cashmere sweater. And this I found on Vinted for like 60 euros, I think just under 60 euros it must have been, but this, OMG, obsessed. My obsession with chocolate brown continues. That might be another like obsession, right? Okay, oversized cashmere. Like I said, obsessed with oversized cashmere. The obsession didn't stop there and I kind of ordered another, but now like a warm tone camel colored oversized cashmere sweater. I ordered this because I saw it on Selfie and I was just like, that is too good of a deal to pass up. I think it was like, was it like 70 euros or something? It's from the Couples. It is 100% cashmere. There you do have the label. I'm not sure what size this is actually, because I basically just ordered it because I thought it looked oversized. It's a size three. A size three, can you see it? It's teeny tiny. But this, OMG obsessed, this I'm wearing all the time too. I adore that it's just, you know, super cozy, super soft. I feel like it's one of those colors that actually goes well with my complexion. <sighs> this is the thing. I'm not sure about the warm tone versus the cool tone colors, right? I mean, sometimes I feel like the warm tones look good on me. Sometimes I feel like the two Blop. The cool tones look good on me. And I don't think I'm ready to choose one. I feel like I just want to continue to wear both and then just pick the colors, you know, not the undertone of the colors, just the colors that I feel suit me. 
which I think both this cool tone brown does and this warmer tone camel color does. Hmm, which one is softer? I think that the bait, like the cashmere of the Koopals one is softer and the Talbots one is more like the style, right? It's not the cashmere that's like, OMG, this is the most fabulous cashmere I've ever felt, which on my next point is the most fabulous cashmere I've ever felt. This is a brand that I've been trying no, that I've been wanting to try for a while. This brand is Eric Bompard. It's French, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's a size medium. And this just feels like a cloud. Like everyone that has been at my apartment, like my friend and my father, I, both of them, I've, I've like held up this cashmere sweater. I'm like, you have to feel this. And, and both of them were like, oh my God, that is like a cloud. Like I'm obsessed with this like the the softness of this cashmere is totally unmatched like none of my other cashmere sweaters are this soft it's thick it's soft it's warm this i feel like is what i would wear if i was going to like you know rent a chalet and go skiing i don't know but do you see this this is just brilliant this is just giving skiing in aspen or something like this skiing in saint moritz whatever you know it's just a fabulous like little cable knit jumper i mean obviously you can wear it as a sweater or you could do the favorite little seedler thing and just drape it across your shoulders which is always a good look as well right but this cashmere omg i am so obsessed I have washed this and it maintained its softness, right? I do hand wash my cashmere. At some point I will do like a step-by-step -step guide to how I wash my cashmere, but I did like film a video to talk you guys through it, but I appreciate that it's better if I show you, right? So I'll do that at some point, but for now, OMG, this cashmere sweater is so soft. It's just my absolute favorite and I, I cannot get enough of like, you know, just feeling the softness. Do you see the squishiness of this cashmere? So Eric Bompard, well, a little cashmere fluff flew away. But if you haven't tried this brand, may I suggest you do if you have the budget for it because OMG obsessed and I obviously bought this pre-loved because that's what I do with everything. So I bought this, I think at like 50 euros, which was why I like could not pass it up either. So on Selby, unless I told you before about this. OMG, obsessed, even though it's new in my wardrobe, but those three cashmere sweaters, I feel like, right, I think having a good set of cashmere sweaters, if you live in a climate similar to mine, right, it's cold, it's the kind of cold, you, you know, it's windy, it's cold, like the wind reaches your soul, and you need, it's, it's not a want, it's a need, you need a thick cashmere sweater to protect your soul. <laughs> <laughs> madness but it, it makes sense to me if if it makes sense to you 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 get what i'm what i'm trying to say here last wardrobe updates i told you about a pair of boots these i'm still obsessed with let me just put something else down here but these omg i am 100 percent obsessed i've still not been to the cobbler because i am so obsessed with them i don't want to live with them i don't want to live without them was what i was meaning to say for like a week while the cobbler puts a soul on them which i really need to uh, you know just muster up the courage and go to the cobbler and hand them in and just live for a week like i lived without these for literally 30 years before I found them, but now I don't wanna live a week without them. That's how obsessed I am. The color is perfect. There are no words for this. The brown cashmere sweater and the Angela C shoes. OMG, it, there is nothing better. I'm just obsessed with these suede little Chelsea boots from Angela C. As you know, I bought them for not a lot of money on Selfie and I'm just obsessed with them. I am so obsessed that I clearly had to buy another pair, but in black. Because I found these on Selfie as well, and I was just like, those look like exactly the same pair of boots, but just in black, and I, I could not pass them up. Do you see? I mean, they do not have a rubber sole under them either, so I need to hand them in to do that too. These are very narrow, I would say, if you have a wide foot beware i'm not sure if you'll enjoy wearing them but for me with a narrow foot and i struggle to find shoes that are not too wide so that my foot like you know runs around like back and forth in the shoe while i'm walking you know 
but these omg the best so comfortable i have sized up to a size 38 instead of a size 37 and a half which is my true size i've done that mainly because i am intending on putting a little kind of thicker sole in them like on the inside you know so that i can wear these as like winter boots when the weather allows, you know, obviously they're a suede boot, so do not wear them in like the super kind of rainy or snowy winter weather, right? But when the weather allows, I am planning on wearing these as like my winter boots. So I need to buy <laughs> a thicker sole for these as well, which is something that I've done with my Stuart Weitzman 5050 boots and those I wear literally both in winter and in fall and they're keeping me toasty warm because I put that I think it's like a shareling sole in them so it's fluffy and it's warm and it's just an overall enjoyable experience for my winter little footsies <laughs> so once again these I bought from Salpi these I think were nine euros no, they were less than that, like seven euros or something. So I clearly could not pass these up. I know one of you guys bought a pair too for not a lot on the pre-loved market. And you said that you sized down half a size. How, how did that go? I'm keen to know like how these are when you size down half a size because I sized up half a size to fit us all, right? But if you're not intending on fitting us all in them, are they okay to size down half a size? Please keep me posted. I'm uh, intrigued to know how that purchase went for you. And I keep my fingers crossed that they fit you well and that you're enjoying wearing them now. I was browsing the local secondhand shops yesterday with one of my friends. We were just like perusing the city center. We were walking around looking in all the cute little secondhand shops. We walked into one of them and there this was. This is an oversized wool blazer <laughs> i lost my favorite word this blazer is from the brand one another i haven't taken the label off because i haven't fully decided if i'm gonna keep it which is why we're talking about it today i think i'm going to keep it because i'm obsessed with this color obviously it's espresso brown obviously it could go fabulously with my talbots cashmere sweater right do you see that color combo i'm g obsessed it is um one of these brands i've never heard of it before i just saw this i saw the fabulous like wool fabric and i walked up to this blazer and i was just like i need it literally it was uh, 80 euros which to me feels a little bit much but i looked up this brand and it looks like their blazers go for like was it 4,000 Swedish crowns or something like this? This one cost me 800 Swedish crowns. So it's still a saving. It looks to be in great condition. Obviously the color is what drew me in and the oversized fit of it because I think something like this with this cashmere sweater with a little skirt could be so cute, you know? And then I just need a cool toned pair of boots to complete an all brown look, which I would be obsessed with. Like not only with that brown cashmere sweater, but with something like this cashmere sweater, OMG cute. With something like the camel cashmere sweater, OMG, what a fabulous color combo. With something like navy blue, like I'm wearing right now, so cute with like a pair of jeans. And then maybe a little Angela C. Chelsea boot. Like you cannot go wrong with something like this. So I'm definitely leaning towards keeping it, but I still want to hear what you guys think about it before I make up my mind. Thank you for helping me out here. <laughs> now, my current obsessions. My current obsessions. These are tights. These might not look super exciting, but the thing with these is just wearing them with a skirt that matches the tights. You know, making it a full monochrome look instead of wearing just black tights. Go get yourself some tights in colors that you wear a lot. I just bought these. These are brown. Are we surprised? No, definitely not. I buy my little colorful tights from Chalcedonia. These are a 30 denier. I buy mine in a size medium. They fit me super well. They are relatively inexpensive for a kind of piece that does elevate your look quite a lot, in my opinion. These are navy blue. These I've already worn a couple of times. And just a navy blue little tight with a navy blue little outfit. OMG obsessed, I think. Colorful tights 
what a concept. Uh, they've always existed, but why am I late to the bandwagon? My mom, I think I've said this in another video, but my mom is literally the queen of colorful tights. She wears like green, she wears red, she wears blue, she wears all the colors that match her outfits. And it just looks like one of those preppy little outfits. And I'm, I'm just obsessed. She calls it that she's wearing colorful legs, which is also cute just as a concept. So I'm here for the colorful legs. I'm wearing the um, navy blue ones. Here they are quite a bit. Now I'm excited to wear the brown ones. Do you see the color match of this? I'm not sure if it's picking up on camera, but in real life, it definitely looks like it's the exact same shade. I'm not sure if the different textures kind of mess with the color matching, but okay, whatever. I feel like monochrome, everything is just a vibe and a mood and a lifestyle, clearly. <laughs> Something I mentioned briefly that I'm not gonna linger on, but these Stuart Weitzman 5050 boots are the gift that keeps on giving. I know I've talked about them at length on my channel, but these are just the best boots I've ever bought. I uh, just wear them every single fall and winter season and they just keep looking fabulous. Like I bought these during COVID, so I've had them literally for like four years now. Mm, yeah, I've worn them for four winter seasons. That's what we can say. And I'm just, I'm just obsessed. These specific ones are not available anymore, but just get yourself an all leather Stuart Weitzman boot. And I don't think you'll regret it. Like I'm wearing mine so much and I'm just so happy to have them. And these are just, these are just fabulous. That brings me to one of my wish list items, actually. We'll, we'll uh, jump back to my current obsessions a little bit later because I mentioned it now twice. Like a little riding boot and brown. I need a riding boot in a cool tone brown. I have my warm tone brown suede boots from my grandma. I adore those, but with like my cool toned brown things now, I, I feel like I just need a cool tone brown boot. I've seen these on uh, Vestir Collective. They're a pair of Hermes boots. They do need some work because if you look at that sole, it looks like it's a little bit worn out and it looks like the leather needs some polishing and like moisturizing and stuff. But I kind of want to take the concept of a forever wardrobe to the test, you know? Buy something that in like a forever wardrobe concept should be a forever piece and just do the maintenance to make it the forever piece that it deserves to be, you know? Because these, these boots are like over 2000 euros. Like a 2000 euro boot should not be something that you just wear until it's like a little bit, you know, worn once. I mean, you should take care of it. You should make sure that it stands the test of time, which is what I wanna do with these boots. I feel like they deserve some TLC. They, I, I just wanna order them and see if I can fix them up and make them my forever, like leather, cool tone brown boots. Let's see how that goes. I uh, am very tempted to just order them right now because I think they're so cute. And the seller, she's been so nice. She's been giving me like the measurements of the sole. She's been like, you know, looking for the original receipt. She's gonna send the box and the dust bags and the blah, blah, blah. So I'm just like, I want to order these boots. And I've been looking like high and low on the internet for a pair of cool tone boots in leather that looks like they're good quality and looks like they're a forever piece. I tried to find something like my Stuart Weitzman, these 50-50 boots in an all leather and brown in a cool tone brown, but I don't think they made those. So I'm thinking the Hermes boots might be the ones and considering they have that little suede, you know, perforated H on them. Can you imagine wearing those? <laughs> oh my God, obsessed. Can you imagine wearing those with like my Hermes Avalon in that espresso brown? <sighs> OMG obsessed. Now, something else, something else that's brown that I'm obsessed with are these three Oleata bags. I wear these Oleata bags literally on a daily basis. They've literally taken over my handbag collection because I feel like they're, they're so stylish yet easygoing and low-key luxurious pieces that I'm just like, I, I want to wear them every day. This I wear every time I go to what, like the office and I need to bring a laptop because this just fits my laptop fabulously. This is a more warm tone brown. So this goes great with my like warm tone brown boots that my grandma gave me, obviously. But I mean, just look at this, like jacquard fabric. I've seen that this is water resistant. Like I've seen some like 
videos of Oliata splashing water on this so it makes me feel a little bit reassured when I'm walking to and from work in this once again questionable weather that is fall in Sweden right because it's just raining all the time and this I can just clip it shut over my laptop and just go happily to work this is the Oliata Marina soft bucket bag this is new in Oliata's collection this was one that was matched to me by Oliata's style quest I took the quiz to uh, basically see which Oliata bag suits my lifestyle the best. This one came up, so clearly we are meant to be. <laughs> I think that quiz was super cute, actually. I uh, could recommend you to do it just to see what Oliata bag you would be matched with. And this was clearly the one that I was matched with and I'm, I'm wearing it so much. This is such a great bag. Honestly, and I'm loving the slouchiness of it. Like this has completely stopped my craving of buying a, um, what is it called? The Celine So Sangle? Like I don't want a Celine So Sangle anymore because now I have this. Do you see the squishiness and the slouchiness and the softness of this? 100% obsessed. I adore this little bag. Amazing. Now, two other brown little Oliata bags. This one is taupe. Not sure if we consider it brown, but this one is brown. This one is taupe. These are the mini anchor bags from Oliata. Clearly, my obsession with brown is taking over my entire life, but these two bags, like when I'm not wearing this one, I'm wearing this one. Like, there's no discussion about it because these I think are so cute. They're such easy going little bags, and I don't know, they just look effortlessly chic because there there are no like you know major logo on them I'm sure you have the little oleata stamp right here but it, it it looks like a very low-key luxurious bag in my opinion and i've gotten so many compliments on them especially this one people are like oh my god look at that leather and this one i see people are just staring at looking at like what is that bag because it has like such an interesting look to it and i adore like the linen and the like soft leather and stuff like this right obviously that uh, black friday discount is still live as i put up this video you can get 25% off your order. You can get a hundred dollar gift card to use by the end of the year. You get a free little knot bag all by using the discount code Amanda Oliata. I'll pop everything in the description box, but just know that these are my obsessions. I'm so happy to have them in my collection and they're literally part of my daily handbag routine, if we can call it that. <laughs> And also Oliata has made some like rebranding on their website and I do adore a little Bordeaux red and they've like made pops of Bordeaux red. Like the new website is super cute. So just, uh, I'm just an Oliata fangirl at this point. So. OMG, this is so heavy. These are my Burberry trench coats. I'm not gonna linger on this, but I am just wearing one of these trench coats literally every day. I have four of them right here and I'm just obsessed. I'm wearing, I think the most the navy blue or the midnight blue ones because I have like a thicker one and a thinner one. So if it's cold, then I wear the thicker one. And if it's warm, I wear the thinner one. And then this is just my favorite pop of color. And this is just my favorite, like, you know, low key casual little Burberry trench coat. And it obviously goes so well with both of these Oliata bags. I did a little video styling these and I'm just obsessed. Now, lastly, I have a little wardrobe project that I want to talk about because, no wait, I have one more thing. I forgot to mention this. We're on our five year anniversary, so I'm so sorry that I forgot to mention you. It's my Louis Vuitton little key and card holder. I'm wearing this literally every time I leave my home because I have my keys and my cards in here. So I literally never leave anywhere without this. And it just, continues like this is also the gift that keeps on giving it's just a little leather like key and card holder like i said i have my keys right here and then i have my cards in the little slot back here and this is just the best here you see the little Louis Vuitton stamping right and also right here on the little do you see that yes you see it amazing this is just like such a good wardrobe investment it's not awfully expensive for being like a little designer piece right so i think it's just a great little thing to have overall i think the color was what drew me in and now i'm just 
I'm just so happy to have this. And this is something that I would not want to live without in my life ever, right? If I ever have to replace this, I'll just buy another one or maybe a Prada one or just the same Louis Vuitton one because this is just held up beautifully and I'm just obsessed with this. I never want this to uh, leave my life, literally. Now, the wardrobe project I was talking to you about. I have ordered a long strand of pearls. They're Akoya pearls, Handama pearls. Is that what they're called? Like the top grade of Akoya pearls. I am envisioning, right? Because I ordered a long strand of pearls. I'm not really a long pearl necklace kind of girly, but those pearls I'm intending on handing in to my local jeweler and making a shorter necklace of it because it looks like it has to be re-threaded anyway because I would only buy or only wear a pearl necklace if it has a little knot in between each pearl so that just in case the thread would break, right, then all your pearls are not gone. Then it's just one pearl that's impacted right by this horrible experience, you know, of the strand breaking. But anyway, I want to hand it in, like make a shorter pearl necklace, like just a normal pearl necklace length, because now I think it would be like a long one, which I'm not super interested in. But what I'm thinking is, I'm gonna make it a shorter necklace, but then also ask my jeweler to make little pearl earrings, because then I have the exact match, like color match of the pearl necklace and the pearl earrings depending on like if it's possible maybe i'll make like a couple of pearl earrings maybe i'll make like a little bracelet something i'm keeping my options open i'm just excited to see like how it turns out and if this is a good idea you know so i'll keep you posted this is my wardrobe project let's see if it's even possible i've got no idea but i have high hopes at the moment so i just wanted to let you know that we're on this little pearl necklace journey so let's see how it goes and obviously i bought it because i felt like it was a good deal for the pearl quality and also the option of making a few different types of pearl pieces with it guys this was my little wardrobe updates for this time do let me know if you think i should keep or return the blazer do let me know what you think about all of these things obviously let me know about your wardrobe updates what are your favorite things what are some new things in your wardrobe what is on your wish list let's talk all about wardrobes in the comments please Thank you so much for spending this time and space with me today. I will link another video right here in case you've not already seen it. I will see you back here next Sunday at 3 p.m. Swedish time, obviously. And until then, stay safe, take care, and I will see you soon. Bye.